Welcome everybody to today's video. We've got another food review. So uh, surprisingly that review last week was I think my one of my most viewed videos which was basically a very boring Burger King Whopper review. So I don't get social media. I don't understand it. Today I have not had Arby's in years. So we are at Arby's. We've got the King's Hawaiian Hot Fish Deluxe. Now, I'm gonna be picky for a minute. Minute. The name Hot Fish, and again, I'm being picky, it is horrible. I mean, it actually makes my gag reflex like saying hot fish. Uh, maybe it's too many times dieting, eating fish, but when I think of a hot fish sandwich, I think of fish that I've cooked, prepared, put in a cooler as I'm dieting for a bodybuilding competition, and I forget to put ice in it, and it's sitting in a hot cooler, and it's stinky and smelly bad fish. Maybe the Nashville spicy chicken sandwich would have done better. I don't know. Again, I'm being picky. Definitely being picky. Um, so, let's see what we got. First of all, they screwed up and they didn't give me the King's Hawaiian bread. Uh, so they messed that up, right? We've got the regular, we've got the regular bun. So, bummer there. Uh, definitely is the spicy chicken though. You can see, you can see the spicy uh, marks we got. I think it's the the dill pepper, pepper ranch uh, uh, dressing or whatever. Uh, you've also got your pickles. Now there is, let me show you this. There's four pickles on this. That's a lot of pickles. I do not like pickles. Um, but yet, if you're doing food reviews, I think you need to include them because every condiment brings something to the sandwich table. So you've got the sauce in the bottom, lettuce pickle. You've got the Nashville hot chick, or uh, I'm sorry, hot fish. You can see the um, uh, powder, the uh, hot on there, right? Uh, pretty good size, I'd say. Um, you know, look, it's it's a good size sandwich. It's not huge, but it's it's definitely a good size. Let's see how it goes. Let me give you a look here. So, um, pretty good. Uh, it's definitely um, very crispy, very crispy. It's got actually a really good crunch to it. It's cooked well. Um, it's hot, it's fresh. The bun is soft. It's a little smushed. I wish I would've got my King Swine bun, so they screwed that up, but what are you gonna do? Poor young kid working in there. Reminds me of me working fast food when I was young. Um, so it's not hot. But it's spicier than I thought it would be. You know, when they mass produce these sandwiches, they, they don't want to really be burning hot. They want anyone from the general population to be able to eat the sandwich, not just people that love spicy food. So um, my mouth isn't on fire, my tongue isn't on fire, but there is some heat in my mouth. You can feel it going down a little bit. So um, that that's good. Okay, so um, we'll rate these on a scale from one to 10. That's how we'll do these. We will take into account value as well as overall uh, food quality. Okay, so uh, most importantly, the, the fish patty was very good. Flaky inside, um, it tasted very fresh. The outside was very crispy, very fresh tasting. Um, I did notice the, the Nashville hot powder seasoning on it. it it was heavier on one side than the other so I think one bite there was no spiciness at all the other one was like super spicy so you know that that's one problem you have with fast food in general just keeping the consistency right uh, they screwed up the orders so I don't know what the beautiful Hawaiian uh, bun tastes like but overall scale from 1 to 10 thinking about fish sandwiches certainly blows something like the basic fish uh, filet from McDonald's out of the water 
um, for a fish sandwich from fast food, I would give it a good, we'll call it a good 7.5. Very good fish sandwich. If I had to pick fish, pretty good. Now we've got part two of a review today. We'll always do one main item and uh, sort of a side item or something. So we've got the Oreo Bites. Uh, new dessert they've got. So you can see it's like a little, little bite. Let's see if I can open this up for you. So there it is with the Oreo cream inside, Oreo kind of wafers or pieces throughout. Very soft, warm. Mm. Now I'm noticing some of these don't have hardly any cream inside. They're, um, it's like they're kind of missing something. Thought they'd be a little more substantial, a little more Oreo tasting. It's a bit, it's a bit like a donut, like a chocolate donut hole that's been, it's been warmed up, really. You can't even, you can't even taste the, the Oreo cream in, in most of these. In fact, I'm sure with the heat it disperses, but there's there's very little, I mean, you can see a little cream there, but the, the taste is very light. They're very, they're airier than, than a donut hole. They're very light, very airy. Um, I was hoping for a little more from these. They're so soft, they almost melt in your mouth. You don't have to chew. So overall, not bad. Um, all right, as far as a general dessert scale from one to 10, just general dessert from fast food, you know, what they offer, I'd give that a four. Uh, I mean, certainly I'll eat it, but nothing remarkable. So hopefully you enjoyed the review. My Diet Mountain Dew. I'm now going to go eat and enjoy the rest of my cheat day. We'll see you for the next review. Goodbye.